Hi right, guys, quick update here on the Coco coin. We can see that, uh, yeah, we are comfortably over this trend line now. We are chilling on that front. Uh, if we are just looking at the chart, making this a chart video today, uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, we did actually come up and try and test this 60 minute volume weighted ATR band here. We also broke uh, this high area, right? So uh, overall, I think fairly bullish so far. We have had a bit of a pullback here, but we are being held up by the 21 EMA on the four hour, right? Uh, let's look a look, let's take a look at the longer term here and just kind of uh, scope this out on more of a macro sense. We can see here that, yeah, we did get this confirmed high put in, but we broke over that trend line pretty nicely. Uh, and now, yes, after I would say what, it's six green days in a row, pretty good here for uh, Coco, check. Okay, yeah, so my mic is synced up, good stuff. <laughs> pretty good here for Coco uh, when it comes to that. Um, Oh yeah, no, that's just the 55. I thought that was me drawing. But yeah, we can see here that, uh, yeah, we do have this trend line coming through here. And if we just align this with the actual, um, with the candle bodies, we can actually see that, yeah, we are currently on that trend line right now. Uh, if we were doing it from the wicks here, then uh, yeah, I mean, we can see that we are pretty far away from the like ultimate structure break anyway. Uh, if we do get below, I would say uh, 1150, that kind of area, uh, then that is not, not really a sign to worry, but uh, a sign that we potentially go sideways for a little bit. As long as we really stay above this trend line here, uh, it's fine because typically when we break over trend lines on the daily, we like to retest them anyway. So uh, all of this is speculative, of course, because it is a fairly new coin. Um, did I just do something? Oh no, we're good. In shambles today, in shambles today. <laughs> <laughs> we can see here that, uh, yeah, just that retest is really what we're looking for. Okay, uh, so let's keep an eye on that one <coughs> for the daily. If we are going to go over to the shorter time frames as well, let's check out the one hour. We can see actually pretty decent in terms of um, momentum here, right? So we are seeing a pretty decent buy ups coming through uh, and we are seeing a pretty decent tests of the moving averages. And what I will say with this thing is that, uh, yeah, it is going to be more volatile uh, than these other big market cap coins. But with this being around that 40 mil market cap area, I mean, uh, this is actually pretty stable price action considering, right? Uh, obviously, it wasn't here <laughs> because we uh, had massive news. We had big investors come in and then obviously the market Market makers bring that back down uh, but overall yeah looking like we're kind of consolidating in this area still kind of following this uh, this trend coming through uh, which is good and as long as we can follow that trend and as long as we can stay above this trend line we just broke over then uh, yeah it's actually a great sign for this coin and I would expect it to go higher as we said before we're looking to come up to this four hour volume weighted ATR band uh, and we're looking for a bit of a pullback after that probably some sideways after that and then after that uh, if we can break over that four hour volume weighted ATR band that will be something that will be massive and that'll be something that could initiate some price discovery coming through uh, if we can get over that 20 area all right so this is your quick update on coco hopefully you have enjoyed it definitely check coco out in the description guys and i will see you in the next video have a good one cheers